Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Julie and today you are joining me on a very special shopping and sourcing episode. We are rounding up the top coffee tables of 2022, including what size and what shape you should buy, what materials and finishes to look out for, and of course, all the reasons why. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. As an interior designer, I literally shop for a living. I see and source so many beautiful pieces of furniture that I thought I want to share it in this new series with you. You might remember my best sectionals roundup and that video was just so popular. I got so many comments in the comment section telling me that I need to help you guys source coffee tables, dining tables, lighting. I mean, there's just so much more. So in this video, we'll be covering all of the basics. Before I share all of my favorite coffee tables, you absolutely have to bust out that measuring tape and measure your space first. That is the most essential and crucial step in interior design. What exactly are you measuring? You're simply measuring the space that you have in front of your seating group. If you only have a main sofa or a love seat, you'll be measuring the length and width of the negative space that's right in front of it. You might have a wall that's adjacent, you might have a stairwell, you might have a hallway, you might even have additional seating in the space like accent chairs and lounge furniture. So make sure that you measure correctly. Measure the length and the width of the space that you're working with. A common question I get asked is how much space should be between the sofa and the coffee table. 16 inches is a sweet spot, but I've placed coffee tables about 12 inches from a sofa before in a small space and even up to 18 inches in a larger space. 18 inches away from the sofa is usually the maximum distance that I would place a coffee table for it to be functional and ergonomical. Of course, the function of a coffee table is for you to have a surface space. You want to be able to set your phone down, a drink down, a book down, a magazine, and be able to pull it right back to you without reaching so far. The exception to this distance is if you have additional surface space. You might have an end table on either side of the sofa. You might even have a sofa table that's flanked on the back of the sofa. So if you have additional surface space, that 16 inches could be a little bit more flexible. In interior design, there are so many shortcuts you can take. Another way to figure out the size of your coffee table is to measure the length of your sofa. The size of the coffee table should be proportional to the length of the sofa, and it should ideally be within half the length of the sofa to two thirds the length of the sofa. Any smaller than half, then it will feel too small for the space. Any larger than two thirds, and it would overwhelm the entire living room. What about the coffee table height? Should it be lower than the main sofa seat or higher than the main sofa seat? The correct answer is within three inches of the sofa's seat height. So you'll take out your measuring tape and you'll measure the height of the sofa seat. Not the arms, not the back, the seat, exactly where you're seated. The coffee table should ideally land between three inches lower and three inches higher than the seat height. Now that you know the design rules, you are free to break them with intent. If you break the rules without knowing the rules, I consider that a common design mistake. And I actually have an entire playlist broken down room by room of all of the common design mistakes I see made. Definitely tap into that playlist. I'll link it above if you need a quick refresher. Now that you've measured your space, you know what's left over. Is the length and the width identical? If it is, you will specify either a square coffee table or a round coffee table. Is one side of the space longer than the other side of the space? In that case, you might want to specify a rectangular or oval table to span the length or the width of that negative space. Now let's get into my top coffee tables of 2022. In no particular order, here are the square and rectangular coffee tables that I have been sourcing for clients and loving lately. I 
I love the texture on this ridge based coffee table. The legs alone have so much depth and dimension to it. And I love that the square top is not a complete square. It has rounded edges, so it's definitely kid friendly. This Ward coffee table is a beautiful addition to your warm neutral space. I love that it's nice and wide and has a distressed vintage looking top. This will be a really beautiful accent piece for your living room if you want to add a warmer, cozier vibe. This draped coffee table is a complete square in a reverse pyramid shape. I love the mixed reclaimed woods. It plays up inviting angles with this really huge, broad, recessed top. That little recessed edge on the top gives it just enough distinction to make this piece so unique. This Atkinson coffee table is nice and oversized, perfect for a larger living room or an open concept space. I'm obsessed with mixed materials and this two-tone oak and metal mix is so interesting. This table would be a beautiful addition to your space, especially if you have a bronze light fixture right above the seating group. Brass is now considered a mainstay in our home and this rectangular marble and brass coffee table really shows off that element. We've got a beautiful black marble with white veining top, cast aluminum legs with a brass powder coat finish. I love how the legs are integrated right into the marble top so this piece looks sophisticated and refined. This Pomona concrete coffee table is suitable for indoors or outdoor spaces. It has clean, minimal lines, a thick concrete top with a supportive wood base. I'm really loving natural materials and here's another concrete table that I am obsessed with. I love that there's an open center and a secondary base that offers a little extra space for storing coffee table books or board games or even your children's toys. It's made of concrete and steel and it features a hand applied parchment white finish to the top and sides. This volume pedestal coffee table is featured in a beautiful wood finish. If you have a larger expanse of space, pedestal tables look great. This coffee table would look really beautiful in a home that receives a ton of light. This hazel white lacquer table has an engineered wood top, solid poplar wood legs, is made with FSC certified wood, and is covered in a water-based white finish. This is really beautiful for your living room, but it could also double as your kid's play table. The lacquer finish on this table makes it so easy to wipe down with simply a wet wipe. Ottomans are a little bit tricky to place in the living room without sacrificing style which is why I love this coffee table in Rialto Ebony. This coffee table features top soft grain leather, it has traditional tufting, and its flat iron legs makes it really chic and minimal. I feel like it's such a fashion forward type ottoman for your living space. The great thing about this coffee table is that if you wanna kick up your legs and relax and lounge, you simply just need to push it up against the sofa and there you go. Leather is a little high maintenance, so definitely use a tray or coasters if you're going to be setting drinks on top of this table. Next, we have this stunning Bogart coffee table. There are two different size options. It comes in both 52 inches and 64 inches for your large living room space. Upon closer inspection, you will see the natural grain and beauty of this wood. It has a slatted lower shelf for additional storage and rounded asymmetrical legs. This coffee table comes in three colors, but Light Tudor, which is shown here, is my absolute favorite. I love how rich and warm this wood tone feels. And finally, if you're looking for something a little bit lighter in finish, I love this Alora coffee table. It has a patchwork wood top. It's modern, yet substantial, but still feels light and airy with that light finish. Just a reminder that you'll be able to shop everything you see featured here in the description box below. You can jump directly to that portion of the video simply by clicking the timestamp. Moving on to my favorite round and oval coffee tables. When and why should you specify a round or oval coffee table? If you have a curved or round sofa, the obvious pairing would be a round coffee table. You wanna mimic those same curves in your living space, so you use repetition in interior design. If you have a squarish seating group, then a round table would look really beautiful there too. The same rule applies to an oval coffee table. If your space is longer than it is wide, you will specify either a rectangular or an oval table. 
One of the main reasons why you would specify a round or oval coffee table is that it really softens up the lines of the living space. Everyone can really crowd around the table without specifying a particular side. Round just looks softer, it's a little bit easier on the eyes, it's more casual, and the best thing about it is that it's kid friendly. Starting off my roundup with this rotunda gray stained kids table with storage. This piece is actually from Crate and Barrel Kids line, but I often shop kids lines and teen lines for regular living rooms. The great thing about this piece is that there's this huge tray table on the bottom for toy storage. Of course, you can also put coffee table books, hide your remote controls. You can even place a basket in there to corral all your junk. Next, we have this Ada Oval coffee table. I actually just specified this for a recent client. I love how sculptural and dynamic this looks. You've got the curved legs, you have the curved top. It's just a really sexy piece that feels right on trend. It's constructed from solid oak wood and the organic variations in the grain shines through its natural finish. This coffee table would look stunning in a tonal living space with warm neutrals or even high contrast jewel tones. Next, we have this Navarro coffee table. It's such a cool sculptural piece because the top looks like it's a tray and the sculptural pedestal base can be considered an art piece on its own. On the flip side, this Jensen coffee table is a formidable piece. It has a gentle curve and surrounding wooden slats with a really beautiful tobacco wash finish. If you want your living space to feel like you're bringing the outdoors in, this coffee table is for you. Next, we have this solid white quartz table on acacia wood legs. This is another example of mixing finishes that I absolutely love. The richness of the wood contrasted with the lightness of the marble is just divine. This pearl rotating coffee table is so chic and eclectic. I could see this styled in so many different types of living spaces. The Italian Mappa burl wood table has a push to open storage compartment. You know how I love to hide my junk in plain sight. Store all your kids toys in there, extra throws, extra blankets, extra pillows. The storage compartment is large enough to hide a multitude of sins. I especially love that it has a 360 degree swivel so that compartment can be accessed from any side of your living space. Next, we have the Bryant black marble coffee table with a lower shelf. I love how the black marble is balanced against reclaimed oak wood on thin cast iron legs. I typically like to leave that bottom shelf unstyled so it doesn't feel too cluttered and you can show off the beautiful grain of the wood. This coffee table would look stunning against velvet furniture. Next, we have this glass round coffee table. You might remember in my previous video, toss these items now, I got rid of all of my glass. But I remember when I used to love having glass in the space. Especially if you live in a studio or small apartment, glass has the ability to reflect more light, it's the easiest finish to clean, and the best thing about it is that it looks like it's barely there. A key designer's tip is to not spend a whole lot of money on glass. This glass and plated brass coffee table goes for $1.99 and that is such a steal. Next, we have this drum storage coffee table. Who here can use a little bit more storage in their living room? I love this antique bronze base. It also comes with a brass base, but I love the seamless base and body style of the antique bronze. It has a solid mango wood top that lifts completely up for the ultimate storage compartment. Next, we have this lava stone coffee table. If you don't know what lava stone is, it's made from volcanic ash, fiberglass, sand, and stone to create this earthy texture. It looks heavy, but it's super lightweight. It's such a great price for something that looks like a single piece of carved aged travertine. Next, we have this Finley round coffee table. Again, with the mixed materials, it features hand-finished pine from Finland paired with a white marble top, zinc alloy hardwood base, and reeded oak detailing. This piece is so on trend, eclectic, it's chic, it's minimal, and it's textured. Everything I love in a piece of furniture. And finally, we have the Luna Oval coffee table. I love that this table has a roomy open shelf underneath that provides an open airy contrast to the sides and the base. This table features mangled wood in a black stained finish. If you have a very neutral space with light toned furniture, this is the perfect addition to provide some contrast and sophistication. 
On the flip side, if you have a lot of dark furniture in the space, you can also specify this coffee table in the light washed oak finish. And finally, our last section of the video is my favorite nesting coffee tables. What is a nesting coffee table? A nesting coffee table can come in a set. It's usually a pair of a larger table that's lower to the ground and a smaller table that's higher up. The great thing about nesting coffee tables is that it offers a ton of flexibility. You can either use one coffee table sitting alone, the other side table as an end table or a side table for an additional lounge chair. You can push them together. You can nest them underneath each other. It's a really great option for you to create a functional and flexible space depending on the size of your living room. If you have a larger living room with a super wide sofa, it's really great for you to pull the nesting tables apart and it offers you multiple surfaces in front of that seating group. I'm actually looking for a nesting table myself for the living space that you see behind me. I love the option of having Kamari use one of the tables as her little play area and I can still use another table as a work surface. This trio nesting coffee table is at the top of my list. I actually just sourced this for a client and I really hope that they pick this. I love how sculptural and organic it feels and I love how the lower coffee table can tuck on either side of the higher one. It has a postmodernist vibe that I'm completely obsessed with at the moment. This chagrin nesting coffee table features antique brass legs with iron curves like a crescent. The smaller scaled companion table can be tucked completely underneath the larger one, so you really don't lose any footprint at all. This Folsom nesting table comes in desert pine or charcoal, but I'm really loving this lighter finish. It's simple, it's geometric, and it really highlights the inherent beauty of the wood. I even love that the smaller table has this great base feature so that you can hide your remote controls. I stopped dead in my tracks when I found this green nesting coffee table. It features a bold postmodern style that's so sleek and different. That green box table can be placed underneath the black table in different positions. I love how the integrated brass round tray can be used as an oversized coaster for drinks. You can keep your remote controls tidy. You can even place a plant or a flower arrangement there so you don't need an additional tray. This is such a beautiful piece if you want your furniture to feel like art. This nesting coffee table features slim metal legs, a brass stripe detail on the lower tabletop, and it sits a little bit lower to the ground. This set is perfect for those who have loungy, low-to-the-ground furniture in their space. This Bowery coffee table in Ottoman is a dream. It features modern lines and plush comfort in this beautifully tailored coffee table plus Ottoman combination. You can move this solid ash table completely out of the way and pull the Ottoman right up to your sectional or sofa. It comes in over 40 different performance fabrics like chenille, velvet, tweed, and textured linen with six different wood finishes. It provides the ultimate in customization so you can look for a fabric that matches your existing sofa. This Carrera marble top pedestal coffee table and side table set can be nested in the center of your living room or you can place the additional side tables beside the sofa. You can even break this set up and put the side table next to your accent chair or you can leave it as is and nest them right in the center of your living room. And finally, we have the Ikea Vitsui. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering this name, but I'm loving the shape and this price. This black and metal nesting table is only $89. It's the perfect low maintenance piece for a small apartment or a studio. The tabletops are tempered glass, they're stain resistant, super easy to clean, and that bottom shelf is two-sided so you can either pick black or brown to match your existing decor. Keep this nesting table together in the center of your living space or pull it apart and use it as a single coffee table and an end table.
That's it for this video. I featured over 30 of my favorite coffee tables that's currently on my radar today. Remember that you can shop all of the items featured in this video in the description box below. And of course, don't forget my Pinterest hack. If you see a coffee table you love, whether or not it's in this video or somewhere online, take a screenshot or a digital image and upload it onto Pinterest's search bar for direct shopping links or something that's really similar in a more affordable price that suits your budget. I also have a shop the look playlist where I link all of my favorite products in the description box so you can shop directly. If you're looking for the best coffee table, the best lighting, the best sectionals, definitely check out that playlist. If you like this type of sourcing video and you're loving the start of this new series, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know if I could help you source the perfect coffee table for your living space. Please don't send me the measurements of your living room and ask me what size coffee table you should buy. That is just a clear indication that you didn't watch the first portion of this video. So definitely jump to that timestamp of how to measure your space for the perfect coffee table if you're still a little stuck. Use my formula for sizing and I would be thrilled to help you specify the right material, shape, or even color that suits your space and needs. Also comment below and let me know what furniture piece you want me to tackle next in this series. How can I help you specify the perfect finishing piece for your space? Definitely share this video with anyone you know who's looking for the perfect coffee table and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that little notification bell to be notified of new videos that we roll out every single Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you next week.